that's how i uh, found this course in seneca where they structured the course in a very unique way and the uh, subjects were really a- uh, aligned to the industry knowledge i gained so uh, that's when i decided that i should go for this uh, academic path even after having experience uh so talking about the subjects in first and second semester so you can find uh, the details on the website as well so uh the four, uh, six subjects were there in semester 1 so the first subject was information security principles and policies so uh this subject basically covers uh, all the theoretical part about the canada cyber laws and about the policies were being followed by uh, canada next is security architecture os and mobile network so uh, i'm sure you in the high school you have studied uh, who are from the computer science background for the networking over sci layers and uh, the basics of networking so uh, here we have networking as well as uh, the details about a uh, new operating system that is red hat uh, linux so you'll get to learn about the practical exposure of the linux operating system and the security uh, policy or security hardening that we do in a different operating system uh next we have ethical hacking and vulnerability testing so here uh it's a tool based and of, of course uh, it covers all the stages of hacking starting from the reconnaissance scanning and we go to the exploiting and then we covering the track so it's a tool based working on the linux environment it's an amazing subject this i'll really vouch for the subject who are really interested in the core ethical hacking stuff next is id security ethical and legal issue it's kind of similar subject wherein we cover the canada's uh, cyber laws and the policies a little bit about more about uh, hacking and stuff but a theoretical point of view uh, next we have security of cloud and iot uh, this is one of my interesting subjects uh, it's specialized to the cloud computing domain wherein you will be working on a real time project working with aws amazon web services and uh, configuring a cloud environment and uh, defining some security policies over it and doing a lot of stuff related to cloud security and iot is internet of things as a really uh, trending technology uh, in it wherein you will be learning a, a project which is based on uh, a microprocessor raspberry pi and doing a lot of stuff over internet of things next we have data analytics data analytics covers uh, the big data concept just plunk the hadoop who seven interested in python programming and want to go towards build their career towards data sciences you can definitely go for this subject so this is about the semester 1 uh, moving on to semester 2 uh, right now i'm enrolled with semester 2 uh, so i can give you a very overview high level idea i i'm still studying so um communication skills for cyber security professionals this is uh, a subject where in once you enter in the industry you should be aware about how are we creating the vulnerability t- t- uh, assessment reports and how are we coordinating and collaborating with different uh, stakeholders leadership and telling about the cyber security problems and things it help us to you know uh, it's help us for any professional to uh, groom themselves and be ready for the corporate world especially in the field of cyber security next we have id for uh, id security forensics so id security forensics is again a tool based wherein uh, you will be working on digital forensics uh, techniques and uh, tools and help us to do some e discovery jobs mobile application security man is, uh, assessment is all about android and ios security you will be working on uh, different os of mobile and the see how we can configure security things in the mobile applications uh, threat intelligence is again a theoretical subject little bit of python programming wherein we will study threat life cycle threat model threat management uh, next we have project management it's uh, not really related to cyber security it's a subject working when you are working as a project manager or certified scrum master you can uh, have a overall idea how the project functions and basically a process based subject and uh, we have authentication and access control uh, it's of a security uh, it's a security based uh, subject wherein you'll be learning about the uh, different type of authentications multi factor authentications and access control policies what type of policies are configured what type of authentications are being given in different uh, ecosystem of security so this is about authentication access control and last uh, is it security capstone project so whatever i have said so far how do we implement this in a real time so this is a subject where you use all your knowledge and implement and build something in real time so uh, this ha- this is the structure of uh, two semester for cyber security and threat management and this is uh, how it has been structured so that it covers all the aspects of 
uh, what have been uh, currently in the market and how uh, we are adapting to which technology so yeah this is about the